Mythalus, as it once was. A grand city built by a noble people and watched over by a royal family. They were all children of a god named Mythala. The Mythalans immortalized their god's noble visage in stone and built many statues honoring him throughout Aquaria. For hundreds of years, the city of Mythalus stood strong, providing its inhabitants with long, fulfilling lives. If only the vision had ended there. If only every Mythalan had been noble. With the comforts and safety of the city came a new calling, eternal life. The Mythalan priests, who acted as Mythala's mouthpiece, saw the coming of a greater god, a creator who had designed and given life to each of the gods, a creator that would eventually destroy their entire race, as he had so many others. The priests delved deeper into the hidden secrets of the verse to escape the bonds of mortality, but the powerful magic they discovered came with a high cost. They bound Mithala in chains and began drawing out his life force to power their song. They executed heretics one by one, forcing Mithala to feast upon his own children. Mithala began to change. His mind sank into the simple, dull anger of a beast. Eventually, he stopped shedding tears as he ate. The hunger had consumed him. The rot inside Mithala's heart grew. His body became bloated and deformed. His flesh began to spread throughout the city, polluting the waters. Drask, the prince of the Mithalans, had seen his family die at the hands of the priests and their mutated disciples. He confronted the priests, and though he could not prevent their escape, he did discover their secrets. I wondered if he still lived somewhere, beyond this world. Thou, little Naja, take my form and journey to the land of the light. In beast form, my strong animal legs allowed me passage through powerful currents and my sharp, jagged teeth proved invaluable for devouring my prey. <laughs>